Okay, I'm going to do my week in reverse, and uh, this is about the golf clubs primarily, but not always. Uh, well, I just came from Desert, what is that place called? Desert uh, Industries, which is a, um, it's a Mormon based, or Latter-day Saints, whatever, big thrift. I haven't been in there in a long time. I went in there, found uh, 16 clubs, two bucks a piece, which... Is good, although I do buy a lot of clubs from uh, the weighted store for a little less than that, and usually paying through forty nine for uh, a club if it or more at uh, Goodwill, unless I do it on Old Man Day and I get a little bit off. But anyhow, I did get. Uh, let's see if you can see that. I did get sixteen clubs. Uh, we came with the bag, which is a travel bag that's worth it in itself, and then. Um, Oh, I got this little wood thing here. Let's see if I can turn this around. My idea with this is to put golf balls in it because I'm going to talk about my week. And the golf balls fit in there real nice, actually. And that was only 5 bucks. I was talking to somebody who wanted $30 for theirs online, although they had more lines on it. But it'll work. It'll get me started. I also found these for 5 bucks a piece. This one in particular... I'm excited about it. This was at Goodwill this morning after I took Anna to school. So these Beanie Babies are in these boxes. This is a Sosa from 1998. And then this is his rookie card from 1989 that's in a sleeve. I'll have to figure out how much those are worth. The other one is Puerto Rico flag for Clemente. But again, they're in the box with the thing. I mean, that's like makes them perfect, right? All right, another thing happened this week. I found out that um, these can be worth something. I have to go and find more of these, but you see it's patent pending on these uh, Karst, uh, Karsten ones, these pink Karsten ones, patent pending. They don't have any numbers on the top. Uh, so I was going through my, I need to get in storage and get into it. Oh, I also found this in storage. I wish I had the rest of these. These are the very first Ben Hogan's that he put out. Uh, what are they? Precisions, right? These are the ones that he uh, had a club that was ready and he shut it all down at a million dollar loss to redo everything because that's how particular he is, which a million dollars back in this was like a 58 or six. I forget now. I got to take a look. But uh, then he came out with these and they're known. They're, they're expensive. A set of these is usually a thousand, twelve hundred bucks, something like that. This was in great shape. It's just an eight. Hopefully I can find the rest of those. Um, I did get this at Goodwill, SM2, and these go for quite a bit. This is an 8. I need to clean it. Okay. I found a bunch of golf balls this week. One in particular, this, I'll just show you this one because it's sitting here. I thought these were pretty cool. Hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, so I'm going into stuff, finding old stuff. So there we go. Hawaiian, as you open it. Look at that, bam. Someone gave that to him in 1984, so that's all the golf balls from the different places there. It looks like, is that all Spalding? I don't know. Or maybe you shouldn't have even took the, yeah, it looks like they're all Spalding. Well, let's see, we'll look down here. Spalding. Yeah, okay, so found that. Found this in a bag, which I like old stuff. What else? Let's see, this, oh. Found this book, went through it. Awesome. Very, very uh, handy to have. I found this book. It's a 1920, 1920 book that he had $25 on. And uh, it's called uh, The Halfback. Something about golf as well. But anyway, that I'm putting up there. What else did I find that I grabbed out up? As I walk, these, I've seen that. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, this was a Goodwill. This is a Tony Pena. Tony Pena, you know, whatever. It's a Strato block, which is not one of my favorites. It's a keel, but pretty nice club. I like Tony's stuff. Okay, uh, the Bobby Jones thing came from uh, the weighted store, so that was like a buck, and it's a video with a book, all kinds of stuff. All right, let's take a look at these clubs. Uh, I found these bags pulling out stuff. This is an old 
Ben Hogan bag. McGregor, McGregor, just an old bag, but in nice shape. Found some old balls in here too. They were in these uh, this hood. I mean, it doesn't mean I look like great shape, but they are. Started organizing some of this stuff in there. I found out more about the pings. I need to get back into storage. I won't bore you with a lot of that, but what else happened this week? A couple old bags. Oh, I sold one of my uh, ping bags for eighty, and he bought another. Titleist stand bag as well. And then I, I sold some, uh, oh, what were the Callaway stuff primarily? And uh, the guy bought like $600 for a set. Bought his wife a set for another $120. I don't need to tell you all that stuff. But okay, so this is a Z Hot bag. It has the Southern California sticker on this side. I haven't cleaned this up, I just got it. But it was six bucks at the weighted store. These are some of the clubs that came out. I'm curious about these Bristols. They look to be a carbon steel. I'm not sure. They want. They say five bucks, but they're old, so they gave them to me for two. And the weird thing is, here I got pings, ping I twos in there, including a wedge. And the only one. Oh, and, the, <laughs> and one of my favorites, a shamrock. Right, two bucks. Two bucks. I2 black dot for two bucks. You kidding me? What were they thinking? And I had never seen the 2400s. I know for you Wilson guys, that's probably like, what? What do you mean? You haven't seen them, but they look nice. Two bucks. A set of those. Um, almost a full set. And the slot line, two bucks. I hate to tell you this stuff because any you guys are buying things from me and find out how much I paid for it. Uh, these. I got a number of these, but. I, they look like a uh, again a carbon steel going on here. It's a two degree lie, high frequency. Is it a five? That's a five. I think I have a two and something else. Um, let's see what else is in there. I have one of these, just one, and that's uh, McGregor's. This could have been. I got a feeling this was probably a uh, demo based on that being on the head of it. But nice grip and yeah, that's where. That came from now. These, when you find something like this in a weighted store, let's go, oh my! So it says Fry Brothers own model, and it's the uh, M89s. So these are like early 50s clubs. They go from two down to nine, and then there's a pitching wedge here someplace. Found a number of these uh, R90s. Here's a tourney here. Here's another R90. Where'd the pitching wedge go? Or sand wedge? Oh, look at these. These PGA ones. Oh, so nice. And then the copper ones, I mean, it's crazy. These are like 40, 50, 60, 80 bucks. It's on the condition. Long neck, R80s. Awesome. Um, oh, these. I've never seen these before. Okay, these are the ones that have the sand wedge, not the uh, McGregor's. Yeah, these are Richmond's. Or Richmark, and they are American Touring Pro 694s. This is a company, as far as I know, that came out in the 90s. A nice muscle back set. I couldn't find out much about it. There's one putter, uh, but I mean, they're hand, as it says, hand milled and uh, forged blade. Okay, there's a serial number on them. Uh, but anyhow, they're Ohio. This company out of Ohio. And that's the one that goes down to the sand. So this is the one that goes three through nine, and then the sand wedge. And then some more like Jean stuff here. Jean, ah, uh, not Jean, Denny Shoot. Denny Shoot. So these are Wilson's. Denny Shoot. Wilson again. Okay. Wilson Staff, JP's. He's so, um, these brilliant, brilliant ones as well. And then this one. Doesn't say anything on it. It does on the top. B2. It looks like SB2. Yeah, I'm not sure. Tommy Armor in there. Palm Springs. Just putters picking up at the weighted stores. A couple of, uh, oh, what are those called? The uh, bullseyes. And then these I found in storage that don't have handles on them. I pulled them in here to clean them up. There's a W. This is a good club. 
Yeah, so it's a T Wilson TPA. It's an 18. These are desirable. People like these. I can see that. Okay, so that's what came in. But what? Okay, hang on. So one of those bags, like I said. <sighs> what did I learn? Now this is interesting. So these are pre Seymour's. Okay. I think I've kind of mentioned this before because that's what I thought, but I've actually found out that it is. So prior to Seymour doing that, they were doing it. Seymour bought the idea from it. So this is one of the first Seymours, this idea, which you can see it looks like the other, just a hunk of metal. Great shape. And there's three of these from before Seymour started coming out with the uh, hide the line type stuff. Ah, okay. So I found a bunch of Cadillac stuff, which made me look into these again. That's Michelob. Oh, there's one in here. It's a Cadillac. I gotta probably pull it. Uh, well, whatever. So these are all. There's Buick. Oh, that goes. I got Buick ones too. Uh, Great Salt Lake. Great Salt Lake Merchantile Corp. Sutter Mill. One of these is a Cadillac one. Oh, there it is. That's a Cadillac one. The Sutter Mill. You can see the Cadillac. Okay, and I pulled these out. So I had these, I just pulled them all out because I found underneath this banner here, at all these up above, I cleared out a lot of these because I found um, a lot of them have, you know, logos and stuff like that on them. Kind of, you know, this stuff is kind of funky, but other ones are actually golf course stuff. And all the, uh, the blacks and Nikes because they don't make them anymore, but the Cadillac... And the big deal for me was all these have logos. I pulled these down because they're logo balls. But there's 30 in here. There's 30 things of Bellotta. I reorganized finally. Um, that may not look like it. These are, what are these? These are Air Force ones. These are Army ones. Never been open. And then... Um, this is Buick. Okay. Oh, no, that's Cadillac. So these are Z Blottas. There's 30 of these. 30 uh, things. Here's the Oldsmobile one. All right. And this is actually uh, a Strata. I don't know if it's Strata Ryder Cup. Yeah. So these are Ryder Cup ones. So they have uh, both the Buick and the Ryder Cup on them. And then these are logo balls. I forget what's on them. You see some of the older stuff down at Omega. I still got to look those up at Rawling. Oh, that there's Jack, Jack, Jack. Um, yeah, this is one I didn't know very well. I still need to look up. General Giotto. General Giotto. A little nick on this one, so this has been used. Croy flights. Exploding balls. Uh, some lady stuff. These are old school U.S. Telstar. Uh, U.S. What does that say on it? I don't know. It's like U.S. something it says on it. Anyhow, there's some floaters in there, blue ridges, stuff, old boxes. And the Jack needs to go in there. And McGregor's. That's what that's laying there for because Jack needs to go back in there. Uh, Worthington's. I have some Worthington's, so I'm keeping these boxes. Just found the boxes, not the balls. Um, I'll put this back. But that was a great find. I mean, I was excited to find it. You see the floaters, the boom balls. There's a beef gin, or uh, beef eater gin. You can see all the Cadillac down here. Again, 30 of those. And then you got all these. I left that there. So you got the Jack Daniels. You know, kind of forget about that. I mean, they're worth talking about. But these uh, Stratas. Blottas. I mean Blottas. I'm going to say Strata now. Yeah, so the Bellotta covered balls, the Wilson staff, there are quite a few in here. And a lot of them, even non-Wilson stuff over here, are also Bellotta balls. I've seen them like this one, Strata, Bellotta, ML Bellotta, the Jack Daniels balls. But, uh, I actually haven't went through all this in this box. That's probably my next move is to get that. But I pulled all these out because they are logo balls. And I said, okay, let's keep the logo balls out. Just for the heck of it. That's where 
thinned out a lot of them. But that was a fun find. Okay. Uh, let's see. This Cobra bag, trying to find out more about that. I think I'm going to probably move those up to there. Kind of fill it in different. What? There's something in here. That, all the old zebras, but what was it? Oh, I sold the big dick club. Someone wanted that. Um, shoot. Oh, I'm missing something. Oh, the one guy brought back uh, the five iron and traded out for another lefty because it was the shaft. Here it is. This is what that was. That's a nice club. I mean, it's a decent club. It's a burner, but it was shafted two inches short. As you can see, shoot, maybe more than two inches. Yeah, it's probably like three short for a five. Um, bag. Huh. So I got to put all that back. He bought, I got to, sold a few sets out of there. Well, I'm racking my brain on what it was. Ping bag is Huffer, Hoofer, however you say it. And then this, actually, okay, this came in. This is $6 jobbies, which is awesome, I think. This is an old Don Martin leather bag. Needs to be clean. That's why it's sitting here. But, oh, that's what it was. <laughs> so I started digging down here behind here to see. You can see the... R11 heads and stuff like that and you got a bunch of ping heads and stuff like that in here I found two sets two sets of these uh, Wood Brother championship balance tour forged iron heads just the heads so they go they go from three to wedge so pitching wedge sand wedge three to wedge and then there's an extra three and an extra uh, sand wedge okay which look like they're, these don't look like they've been used, but these may have been. I'm not sure. And then ping beryliums, three through the nine. It's like yeah. And then underneath there is some um, regular pings. This is a lefty. That's why it's set aside. But the pluses, the black dot uh, regular ones, which are all heads. Again, I like that stuff. What else did I find? What that noise is coming from. I found out how much gloves were, more than I thought. Let's put it that way. Um, oh, the books. That's where the books came from. I said I, I got to look at more stuff and see what's going on back there. That's where the books came from. There's some of my older balls. And I need to finish doing this stuff. But yeah, I was surprised by the books that are down in here and in here. Nope. Well, I got that bag. That was another thing. It was a bag. So a lot of Arnold Palmer and Jack. Tiger's new swing. Uh, those are the books that are in there. Um, all the old fishing rod. That came into play. An old 1960s foot fishing rod that I picked up at the weighted store for nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. A couple more things back in here. This is a swing jacket. Not worth a whole heck of a lot, but interesting. Oh, where was the other shoes? These were they the Nikes? No. What were they? Are the Pumas? These twelves? Yeah, these are it. I had to open these up for somebody to look at them. Found out they're brand new. They have a price tag of a hundred bucks on them. Good looking shoe. Size so twelve Pumas. Brand new. Okay. All right. Put those back. What was it? Let me get that thing fixed. Hmm. You know, the problem is, that, oh, I pulled out all these at uh, the, um, the well, I'll go show you which ones I pulled out. I wanted to get them separate. And these are where I got some of the, the gold ones from. I had already had them pulled. Again, I got those because of the Cadillac. Sorry, I'm probably going a little bit fast here. But, um, 
yeah, I pulled all of these. Okay, so big fan of the tour series. This is a 16. I got four or five of the 16s and then 17, 19s, 18s, more 19s and uh, Spalding 2s. I just got a 5 that I pulled out there. It's one of these high frequency ones. Good, bad, or whatever. So there is the gold, TPM gold stuff. Going both ways. I like TP mills. Um... Oh, these are pulled because they are Mr. 59 stuff. There's two threes and two twos, so four total of the 59s. Oh, I found out that these were an inch short. So the TP2s, this one set, and these are an inch short. I have another set that's regular, but this one set's an inch short. And that's right, because I sold, the guy bought them, and then he found out when we didn't check it, my bad, that they were an inch short. Okay, and that's another thing, Bobby Gray stuff. So, I found uh, some more of his stuff, this Cobra Putter by Bobby Grace. And then, what was it? The lob wedges, these are worth a lot more than you think. You gotta be careful with these. You don't wanna let these go cheap. All the ping stuff is still very desirable some people consider it cheating i'm not that guy i think whatever helps especially me so that's just uh that's the 22 it's not the softy so where, where am i thinking now oh that's over here isn't it yeah this is the one that's a softy An excellent shape. Oh, I knew there was something. Yeah, I showed you those two that I found and that one that I found. I need to clean that. Or this one. This is one I need to clean. Okay. Yes. What am I thinking? All right, going through there, I also found this old funky brass putter. All right, so that's probably 50s or 60s because it has the, uh, we got to peg it. You got to put the thing through it. This old around the green thing, the gooseneck. Great shape. This is a Japanese, so this is probably carbon steel. Oops, I get in the film here. And it is a... Yeah, I can't read it through there, but... M-A... Or M-A-K-U-S-A. -A -A, Makusa. Makusa head, right? Well, that's not the least of it. Okay. Found this chingling or uh, ch ching, ka ching, <laughs> ka ching butter, ka ching. Interesting head. I found this one too. It was all coming out of there. This is a um, uh, bullseye, la femme. So it's a flange putter. Aha! So this one came out. Found this bad boy. It's three hundred dollars there for this one, Periette. But that's still not the one I'm looking for. Another one of these. Another one of the Ben Hogan's. I got like six of those now. Oh. In the back. This came out. Scotty Cameron. The Studio uh, Studio Design 1.5. Studio Design 1.5. With the, the dancing Scotty going on there. Just ahead. Those are always great to find, right? This old dog here with zebra. Also good to find. Is that a milled face? Nah, no, just rusty. Okay, I don't know why I showed that. This guy I found. So rife, right? Um, and then this one I found. So I don't know this one. I didn't look it up yet. I'm going to leave it out so I can look it up. These guys didn't go back. I looked them up. Well, I didn't look this one up. I didn't look this one up. I did look that up. Okay. So, now what? <sighs> Seems like I'm missing something. What else did I find? Hmm. Maybe I'll come back into this because I can't think... what it was i took all these and separated them these are the seymours that are tour milled 
or um, prototype stuff like this PGA Tour Cypress. This is a Kenny G Cypress. I've had it, but I separated them, put head covers on them. All these are, well, the Seymours are that. So these are probably more like Ken Murray and there's a Tad Moore. Found this in storage, first production, 1998. Tour Phil, Tad Moore. You see that one okay? Well, range, you know, copper insert there for that fill. Heavy putter. No, I'm forgetting something. Ah, yeah, this. So, this is um, one of the first. These Apex uh, are uh, Kenny G, Kenny Gianni. This is once he started doing it. So it was back in the 90s, probably. It's one of his first clubs. Sorry, does it have a date on it? No, nope, it doesn't look like it does. One of the first clubs he did for Ben Hogan. Ben Hogan's Apex. Hogan Apex, right? So that's where he started his. And then he went on to... Um, he went on to Cleveland and... Uh, God, who else was he with? I think he might have done some Mizuno as well. Not positive though, but I think he was at Cleveland again. That's Kenny G that we're talking about there, and that reminds me. I found out as I run through here. Oh, I also got into all the kids' stuff and took pictures of it. I need to get that out. I don't want to forget that, but all the kids' stuff is another bag that I picked up for five bucks, I think, whatever, and um. Ah, there it is, Riley. So Riley, Riley started out with, oh, I forget, he did something else. He made a bunch of money doing that. Then he got with uh, somebody out of uh, Chicago, because that's where he was. If I'm not mistaken, it was, I know Lynx came into play. He also did uh, Pen Seeker, and then he got into his own stuff. But there was somebody else in there, too. So that's where Riley's from. I, I always thought he was local, California, but he's not. He's, I think Chicago is where he's from, unless he moved here. And I just don't know it. But, yeah, I learned about that. Hmm. Somebody was saying that the number one selling club of all time was surprised me it was it was a big wedge thing i know i got a bunch of them here someplace so i look around big flat wedges they might be out there instead of in here i don't typically keep those big dogs in here but they might be around here anyhow i'm talking and talking and talking what uh yeah stuff like this alien pat simmons okay which huge flat dot face was a number one club number one selling club of all time was that type of thing and you got the sand foil it's been around a while spin doctor warrior or well, they got links here's another one of those something like it anyway dunlop on this one big so it won't help you bounce. No, oh, I'm forgetting stuff. I mean, that's, I should take more time as I run into it. Oh, that's another thing. There's a 1200s, right? I did not know that they made a 2400. I don't know. It probably makes me sound stupid, but I didn't know they made the 2400. Two bucks. All right, slot line. I mentioned they get the. I showed you that, but let's see, what was this one? This, yeah, it's a five. Hmm. I got the one, twos, and threes. I guess I, the five was a good thing. And these Bristols, again, I Bristol used to be with Ram. I was surprised, but just the way this is done, I, had, I think that that might be worth more than I think. So I'm going to go check that one out. Um... All right, those are coming home with the McGregor stuff. That's right, I sold a couple of those. Um, yeah, I don't need to tell you about it, selling all that. 
So I've been organizing these. I found out some different things. But the big thing I'm after right now, I got to get back into storage. I want to see if I can find the ping that uh, Karsten won that are patent pending. Because someone had them online for a lot of money, which, you know, happens and not always the right answer. But a lot of money always sounds good, right? Okay, so I got to clean those. So I'm going to do that. And... Oh, books. I looked in my books because I'm looking for more stuff and I'm finding more and more. I know i got to get in there and there and in there to see more about uh, the books that are for um, uh, club valuation, basically, or history of. Not so much story behind, but yeah. I'm going to go back to these. This, these balls are awesome. 1984 Hawaiian. To Craig, many thanks for your support with the warmest aloha. And it's uh, Clanny Fiction, whatever, July 5th, 1984. Okay, I'm going to end it there.